Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am Ms. Atlantic Dream from MissAtlanticDream.com. Yvette Johnson on Facebook, ATL underscore Thick Dream on Twitter, MS period Atlanta on your Instagram, baby. Hello, this is going to be another It's Not Easy Being Dream vlog. I want to talk about this morning. Um, it's, it's what, my manic Monday? Oh my goodness, yes it is. It's manic Monday, okay. Kids are all off to school. I got my here coffee right here on this is not easy being dream blog. And I got some water. And then after that, I am going to have me some lemon lemon ginger tea. Because um I was up last night uh buzzing high off of uh what is it? Um that narcotic tr trauma. I don't know. Um it's a muscle relaxer narcotic thing because of my arthritis and my you know, I had a slip and fall, so I'm having um, more inflammation due to that uh, slip and fall that I had at the supermarket. It's, it seemed like it did something to just kick off my arthritis and just my knee stuff. And plus, I, oh, you know, yeah, I'm a busy mommy, an active one, very active one, hands-on and um, in the gym. I'm debating right now if I should go to the gym or not this morning. Yeah, on this manic Monday, eesh, after this weekend, I mean, yesterday, from what, Friday, doing the, um, the volunteer for field day at my daughter's school, uh, my booty and my thighs were still hurting, and yeah, I didn't even want to do nothing, I really didn't even want to move, so at some point, when I got back home from being my mommy mo yesterday, um, I had to pop two, not one, but two of those pills last night. And I had a side effect. And the side effect is keeping me up and I'm all itchy all over. I was in one of these, you know, <laughs> having side effects to the medication. And I was like really turned up last night. I mean, for real, for real. I just went to bed, what, 3.30 this morning? Ooh. I was, uh, you know, giggly, geek, geek, geek. I put on, I had on, look, I don't know if you can tell, but I had on my purple Lipstick. Oh, you can see the pictures on my Facebook. MS period. Um, Atlanta. Thick dream. I. That's how I am. That's my um. Facebook.com. MS period with that little forward slash on. That's how you can find me on Facebook. But uh, my name on there is Yvette Johnson. So I said that. Oh my goodness. Not enough sleep here this morning. Okay. <laughs> but you can see the pics from last night. And I had on purple lipstick. You know, the matte lipstick. And I had on my belly dancer outfit, you know, I'm in there, but y'all didn't see all that. But uh, <laughs> for those of you who do follow me on there, but anyway, I was just crunk and I was supposed to be, you know, relaxed and, you know, pain free. Now, granted, at some point that knee, knee, knees was not hurting. You know, I was not in no pain, but doggone it feel like I, you know, like I wanted to sing some, I don't know, uh, from, I believe I can fly and start, you know, flap my wings. <laughs> to some um rihanna yeah you need anyway i kept that's what i woke up in my head that's what kept playing on on because i was just so turned up and um me and my daughter was you know 12 year old she up here encouraging it you know <laughs> i was cooking her eggs and we was just up dancing and just get it in dad she was dabbing and you know <laughs> we had a whole little dance party while the rest of the house was asleep we was in there just doing our little goddess little chanting and waving and, you know, our little money dance. We just thanking the divine and just, you know, we was doing all that. <laughs> we are the ones who run with the wolves over here, okay? If you don't know that by now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, last night was like, I don't go to the club like that. I don't hang out like that, you know. So, here at the foxhole, we got to get it in sometime. And, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, let me take a sip of my coffee. I got a dish on a few things on this. This is a, it's not easy being dream vlog, so it, it is manic Monday, motivational Monday too. But uh, I need a woo sigh for a minute, just a tad. Mm. I gotta put my protein powder in my coffee too. Not something that I advocate on <laughs> as a healthy, you know healthy lifestyle fit model and 
you know, et cetera, et cetera, brand ambassador and, you know what I mean, a bariatric babe. I'm not going to advertise or, excuse me, advocate on uh, putting coffee in your protein shake. I'm not going to do that because you're not supposed to. Anyway, so yesterday um, I felt as if, and I feel like I'm at some type of meeting, an anonymous meeting, hey, hey, or I don't know, single parenting anonymous dot or I don't know. I felt like that's what I feel like right now. Um, yesterday, I just wanted to quit. Uh, yeah, you know, if you follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all my other, you know, social media outlets, you know that I quit often. Yeah, and then I come back at it again after being a quitter. Um, I wanted to quit yesterday of being a mom. Yeah. I get like that sometimes. Um, only because I really and truly think there should be some type of law for single mommies. Um, sorry, Dills. I am going to advocate on for the moms this morning just because I am one. And uh, I can totally and, and truly, for real, for real, understand everything and all that. And then some in a bag of, you know, um, pistachios. I can really... <laughs> I can relate and I believe that every single parent okay whether you are black or other races every single woman that is caring for children deserves some type of weekend getaway a couple days you know on the weekend or during the week I just believe that women who are nurturing other other beings outside of themselves need that, you know, break away that respite. I need it. I need it so, look, look, so bad. I feel like I'm color purple. Oh, my life. <laughs> I had to fight. I had to fight. Ooh, just to get a peace of mind away, you know. I do have adult children, but, uh, you know... Mm, 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 mm. they can't do it like I do, you know, and, uh, mom's, you know, doing her thing, you know, she ain't about that life of being a granny and her kitty's on the lap, you know, not just yet. She's not really been like that, you know, to all of the kids. She picks her one or two that she deal with. But out of all of them, come on, baby, come on, sit on grandma's knee and da da da. I'm gonna take y'all over here down to Disney or, you know what I mean. So she doesn't like get hands on and and come and do play dates with them. Hey, you know what? Go on ahead, child. Go on and you know go to the nail spa. Go to Jeju out there and just have fun at the spa. You know, do you? I know how it is. So. You know, I'm going to be here with the kids. You have no worries. Just go ahead, unwind, because you need to break, daughter, because I see what you're doing. And you are a good mom, blah, blah. I wish and I crave for those days. If it will ever happen in this lifetime, I don't see it, but I'm not I'm not saying it's not possible. It's just my mom is so busy grinding in her own, you know, after you working for the government for how many years she's dealing with her retirement her her second phase of her life you know as as a independent woman and, and a business person she's dealing with that on her own you know and and it's like oh, dang you know I feel like and I told my kids this and it's just I had to who else can I just talk to and just ah with you know because it's really and truly nobody else cares <laughs> they really don't care I just had a meltdown. Can I can just say that and be honest? I had a meltdown. I'm just like, ah, do you know what it's like having birthdays and certain anniversaries and special moments in your life where there is no one that you really and truly love, you know, supporting you there or being there and just, you know, without you having to remind them like, hey, today's my birthday or hey, this happened to me, da da da, or, you know, or, or, da, da. whatever it is, a special moment. So that's the reason why I'm so heavy on advocating on, on, you know, people in our lives that are, celebrate us and elevate us because I know what it's like not having that. And for the most part, I've not had that. 
You know, I've not had people, ta-da, happy birthday, da-da-da, or hey, congratulations, here's your, you know, baby shower, or I had to throw my own baby showers, my own birthday parties, things of that nature when I became an adult. And at some point, even as a child, uh, I didn't get no birthday parties, okay? At some point, as a child, Christmas didn't become as, you know, this big thing for me, you know, so because I, I, I was one of those kids, I felt like, doggone it, I can't wait. Get a Christmas. What is Christmas? You know, why well, I got to wait for stuff that I already need. You get what I'm saying? So now as an adult, those those things like Christmas and things, we celebrate them differently over here. And um, every day to me is like a celebration for life and, and, and loving on yourself and just supporting yourself and the things that you do. You have to do it. You have to do it from within and hopefully others around you will be prompted to do the same. But, uh, unfortunately at times in my world, it doesn't work like that, but I'm so busy, you know, um, promoting this in, in my thick dreams, you know, my, my sexy, you, my being a better you campaign. I'm so heavy on promoting it because, you know, I I wish I can share it with my, with my family, but they're so used to not incorporating that type of love for me. Yeah. They're so used to that. I don't know. They think that I'm just an ungrateful being. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. It, maybe we need to sit down on Ilyana's couch, you know, or can't, I'm not no Dr. Phil, but, you know, actually have some type of powwow, not only with just my mom and my brother, myself, her husband, his kids, his family, you know, my ex-husband, my brother, his baby, the whole unit, not just my mom and my brother and myself we all the whole entire doggone family need to have like a um you know a getaway a healing type of retreat where there's a therapist or some type of mediator so we can get it all out and put it on the table like why is it that you always doing stuff for this one and over here yours truly don't get the same love back so you want to know why i'm kind of like you know into my own little zone i do my own thing well that's why (laughs) that's why this started way back yonder not when you know i became miss lansing dream no it started way back yonder okay as a child you know but and and sad to say that it to me I've, i've done my own research i believe it comes from just the whole single parent struggle and you know, women want their sons not to be in jail, not to be dead by a certain age. Black men, that is. And, and the moms fear that for them. Well, you know what? I don't fear that for my son. I don't at all. I don't fear that he's going to have an impoverished, you know, impoverished life, living in poverty and, and he's not wanting something, you know, better for himself, living in mediocrity. I don't believe my son is going to you know, carry on that way in his adult, in his adult life, because guess what? I am speaking, I am placing certain seeds within him to where when he gets older, he's going to know, oh, this happened to my mom or this happened to my dad. I don't want this happening to me because they taught, she taught me better. I saw what, you know, the struggles that my mom and my dad went through, blah, 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 you know, and I'm going to do better. This is the type of love and light I'm putting in my son and in my children, you know, and it's just, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to get all, blah, 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 you know, um, but it is this, you know, a real talk, meltdown, manic Monday. It's not easy being drink. So I am going to get to the good, the bad and the ugly this morning because I really wanted to check the fuck out as a mom. You know, I have those moments. You guys see the happy, you know, we're at the day, we're doing this, this, and that. But there are days where I want to just get in my car. But before I get in there, I want to just, you know, change my identity, maybe shave my hair off. You know what I mean? And do something like what Jada Pickett did on Set It Off. Just get the hell on. You know, live with no cell phone, have a backpack full of money and no hair. Just get the hell on, hit the highway, you know. Yeah, I've had those moments. And it happens because, you know, as a single mom, the only retreat we have is in our mind. (laughs) And when we go lock that door or when we force ourselves to go out and spend time with a significant other. And at times that might not be the good thing, especially um, if that person is not consistent. 
So, you know, and that person makes excuses. Oh, you know, you're busy being a mom or, you know, I have work. We both got things going on and they make tons of excuses pretty much, you know. So it does not always work out with you getting away with your mate, your, you know, your lover, your, whomever you choose to release with and unwind with. And see, that's probably one of my biggest things that I am um, dealing with right now is that, I have to, you know, overlook some things that I, you know, people in my life. And I, and I want to say something, but I'm holding back. I'm really and truly holding back because I, I have to get the, the proper wording when I'm speaking to you. Because it might come out just, oh, and you be like, oh, oh my God, did she just, oh. So I have to put my little filter switch on, you know, and make sure that it comes out right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm using the correct words when I'm talking about the fuckery and just how um, inconsistent things can be as a single mom and as a single dating mom, okay? It's not about the fact that I'm in Atlanta, none of that, none of that. Um, It's just the fact that it just happens. And I had to pretty much poll women from around the world, you know, in my Dream of Intimacy group and with my connections here online, I had to ask different women, even the Goddess Sisterhood, does this happen to you? Or I share something. They'd be like, oh, this happened to me too. Or da, da, da. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, oh, damn. So it ain't just me. It's not just me. These mofos just got it all twisted. Ha. Yeah, it's got it all twisted. Because they were conditioned. And forgive me with this hair, you know. They were conditioned or they just think that this is okay, you know. And, you know, and this is what I'm talking about. So not only did I have a non-adult time weekend just in mommy mode from Friday going in to doing field day with my daughter um, school and then going into the dentist and and dealing with my daughter's surgery, her getting her wisdom teeth pulled. And then, and then, and then the next day I had to get up with my son, take him to do what he needed to do. And then I'm sore walking around here like a robot. And I'm going to the gym ass sore, thigh sore, knee her, not complaining. I'm happy to feel the pain. <laughs> I'm happy to feel the burn. I'm happy to have a membership at the gym. I'm a, I'm very, very, look, I'm very humble and I'm very grateful to have all those things down to the car I drive, you know, and to the, just the everything, because everything to me is sacred. However, you know, I'm being automated and all this stuff. I'm not getting my adult time, as I said. Meaning my sexy time, if you will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my sexy time. Whether I wanted to go cha-cha it up or dab it up or go sit and watch a movie and, you know, sit down at my Giano's in my nice Charlotte Russe dress and my, you know, certain level heels, you know, mm, with my nails, you know, tightened up and my smile just... Mm. In front of a certain gentleman, companion, you know, company, like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. My adult time, my sexy time, being out of my normal habitat and getting into some sexy, you know, stimulation. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be the intimacy, but that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Uh, especially, you know, what I'm going through with end of the year and trying to get this new, you know, brand stuff popping off. And I still want to push on and being a motivational coach, confident coach, you know, and still having this persona and this thick dream productions in me and this dream motivation and promoting this event that's going on in June down here with the King of Pole. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I just say, look, yeah, I don't even know what the point was. I don't even know what I was talking about, but yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Whatever, you know, damn it. I want that. I want to be able to get a passport, get the hell up out of Georgia. I have not left Georgia in over a year when I had my surgery, which was spring break last year, which was my daughter's senior trip. It is time. I need a sexy companion to travel with. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? I need that. I want that. I deserve that. And not somebody who's a, you know, workaholic or somebody who's not in their truth. So they can't take time away because they too busy, you know, living in the darkness and lying about who they are, what they do and who they do it with. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know, 
don't want to be a part of that. I, I don't want to be a part of that. And and speaking of that, you know, I could harp on the fact that I, I did not get that time this weekend. I could have taken the time to get my sexy time in, but then I would be taking time away from the kids and what the things that they had going on because nobody else is going to take my daughter here to her friend's her friend's birthday party or whatever or to take my son to his his super saturday festivities at school you know who's going to do that so yeah i could have did my thing you know i could have went out and did my thing but uh i didn't push it and um i don't know i just i don't know i need to get a whole nother look a whole nother team you know switch Put them on the bench. I've said this before, but I, I really, you know, don't have a team like that anymore. Not I say anymore, but I, I, <laughs> I really don't have. It's not like what you think it is. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Like yes, I, I can call up so and so, like hey, I want to go to a movie that I, or I can say hey, I want to go to Jay Alexander's for lunch. You, you know, you, you ready? And um, I don't have to pay. Yes, I got it like that. You know, but it's not really like that. You know what I'm saying? Everything comes with. <sighs> it, it, I, I want to say a, a price, but everything comes with additional fuckery. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, I'll go out here with this person or that person, but please believe they're going to expect me to do it with them again, go out to lunch or dinner with them again, um, or they're wanting to come back here and chill and go parlay up to, you know, the heart of the home with me and just chillax over there. But, um, mm-mm, mm-mm. I have to be very selective um, when I am choosing a wind down, a sexy uh, companion, a sexy time companion, um, a mate. But, okay, anyway, I asked this particular person, and I'm not going to say which one it is that I, I've been engaging with real quick, real quick, and I'm going to go. Um, I asked them, I said, so were you, when you met me, were you looking for a sugar mama? This is what I asked him. And um, I said, what does it take to to have someone like yourself? I asked him that just because I know my my spidey senses, my intuition tells me that he and I are not going to grow any further than where we are. OK, we're not going to become this official couple and being involved like man and woman are supposed to. I don't see it. It's not going to happen. I'm not speaking you know, against it. But um, I had asked him the question just to see what his response was, because I wanted to know what was it or what is it that keeps you? Perhaps maybe I can hook him up with somebody else. Ha, I'm just kidding. But uh, I just wanted to know what were you seeking and what does it take to acquire someone like you, guy that you are? You know, uh, does it take money? I, I do believe for this particular gentleman or guy, it takes money. Mm hmm. Because I, I, I had this hunch that he is very committed with his his child's mom and that I do believe that he's going to marry her or something, you know, is going to go. There's that bond that is just it's going to be very concrete. And I believe that he's just going to be a, a monogamous cheater. He's not going to be poly at all. Um, Just I just have this just in my you know what I mean? Ladies, y'all know. Some fellas, y'all know what I'm talking about, but I just believe in him. Uh, he doesn't have something in that tie that he has with his baby mom. So he was out here doing it. That's just my hunch that I got just on some things that I observed. Okay. With dealing with this particular individual, but, uh, he had the audacity to tell me you got too much time on your hands. <laughs> First of all, the old me would have been like, wait, no motherfucker. You know what I mean? First of all, if I if I had time like that, one, ooh, you wouldn't have never gotten my time if I did not have time on my hands. And you wouldn't have gotten as far as you did if I'm just sitting back, you know what I mean? And just just waiting on somebody with my legs up and, you know, mouth open, just drooling like I'm thirsty. Don't flip that on me, boo-boo. Don't flip it on me. And that's what he tried it. I said, I just asked because you know what? He asked me all types of questions and I'm just the type of woman with him and with some others that I've came across. 
I don't ask questions because I allow the divine to reveal things about that man. And so far, so good. The divine has not, you know, lied to me. It's shown me all that he is and then some. Some stuff that I didn't even want to know that I find out about men that I, you know, dealt with and presently dealing with, okay? One in particular being that, uh, that chief, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Oh, yes. That that one, too. Um, but this particular guy he was getting all on the D and he still has yet to answer the question. He got on the D about that. You got too much time on your damn hands. No, motherfucker. I got intelligence and you're not going to get any money out of me. That's what that is. And because you can't get any money out of me, you know, you don't want to spend any time with me. You don't want to date me. You don't want to get to know me and damn for sure give me your, you know, you know, your lingam and your man time in the bedroom because you think all that you got going on, you know. That's worth some money or whatever. But ladies, gentlemen, this is what it boils down to on this Meltdown Monday. You know, you expect me to take care of you and you ain't even coming to the table. This proverbial table with the same joints I am coming with. Hmm. Okay. And if you don't know what I, I, I offer, <laughs> look, I, I, I offer, then apparently this is not a good fit, bruh. It's not a good fit. If you got to, you know, uh, get all on the D about things and, and not answer the question. I'm, I was just curious. I wanted to know. Because some people will take their entire lifetime seeking. So whether he is for real, for real dealing with his baby mom, he's still going to be out here seeking and being in other people's lives and being a user because he don't have his stuff together financially or he's using women as a resource. He didn't get no money out of me. Not, not, not a dime. Look. Not a dime, shorter. But I just have to, I have to see because in your 40s, that's what that's what they think of you because you got a car, you got a house, you taking care of your kids, and, and to their eyes, you got it all together. Okay. Well, if you spend a little bit more time with me, you will know that uh, it's together, but not without some rubber band and some spit. <laughs> Concrete, you know, don't all hold this together. My faith. Is what holds it together. My drive, my motivation, my love, you know, being on my knees, praying, <laughs> believing in something, that is what holds me and keeps me together, you know? So it's, it's real funny that this is what I'm being served. I know I'm being tested, you know? I'm being tested. Meltdown here. This is meltdown, right? I'm being tested. I get that. But it's just funny that that's where we're, we're going. That's what... I'm being thrown at me to, you know, kind of raise my eyebrow like, like, nigga, please. I wish the, I, I wish I would. Okay. I want my grandmama to come out her grave and slap me. Not saying that I've never done that, but I have grown <clears throat> so much. And if, and, and granted, let me put this out here. Disclaimer. Granted, if I've done that, help a man or, or help the, you know, put pot money in a man's pockets is because he was helping me full time, not him being here for a moment or just a blink, you know, <laughs> or for a nut or two look, or two. And then boom, I'm off to the next, you know, uh, opportunity, opportunity. That's what that is. You know, nah, that's the reason why yours truly has helped someone else because we were helping each other reciprocity. And those of you who follow me on Facebook know that that is what I believe in because, um, I don't believe in all that user tapping in and all that kind of, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but anyway, <laughs> The meltdown's over. The rant is over. This has been another It's Not Easy Being Dream vlog. I'm Miss Atlantic Dream from MissAtlanticDream.com. Yvette Johnson on your Facebook. And look, I have to bow to you. Namaste. Hey, we're going to get it together. One, you know, vlog, one rant at a time. <laughs> Enjoy.